the Naughty Princess. Princess Primrose was the daughter of King Roland the 110th and Queen Eve the 103rd of West Mer of West Meyerville, the capital city of a country called Noxylvania, which is located in the far north of Europe. She was nine years old and behaved in a manner they didn't like and very improperly for a princess. Primrose was a very naughty princess who outright refused to conform to anything considered proper for a princess. She had no sense of etiquette and good behaviour and King Roland and Queen Eve were fed up with her naughty behaviour. Her nanny, Mrs. Vendergast, was at a loss for knowing what to do about her behaviour. She was trying to get her to pay attention to her royal tutor, Sir Adam Hughes, who was trying to train her in royal etiquette, and as usual, wasn't getting anywhere. So she wasn't listening to him, and she wasn't listening to him. Will you please pay attention, your naughtiness, he said angrily. It's Highness, you fool. I'm a princess, she replied very rudely. Mrs. Vendergast was so shocked by this, she smacked her on the wrist. Primrose Mosley, you are so very rude and naughty. How dare you refuse to listen to Sir Adam and then speak to him like that, she scolded. I'm a princess and I don't apologise, replied Primrose rudely. The way you behave, anyone would think you're another spoiled brat. You call yourself a princess? You certainly don't act one. I should be like one, Mrs. Vendergast scolded. Primrose just sat there pulling rude faces and making gestures that were not fitting for a princess. The news especially, especially angered King Roland and Queen Eve, who when they caught her at it, punished her with two months worth of early bedtimes and a month in the dungeons being treated like the criminal she acted. This sentence was given to her as a form of lesson in how criminal behaviour would land her in jail if she was one of their subjects. If this didn't teach her the lesson they hoped it would, they'd have no choice but to send her to Baddington School for naughty children as a princess in disgrace. The news that she'd have to go there and mix with other naughty children who weren't rich or important made her have a long hard think about her behaviour and she didn't want to mix with any peasants as she called them. <laughs> it had worked as she started regretting her behaviour and was released from her punishments before time was up. She did then start taking her lessons in royal etiquette seriously and applied herself to her uh, to princess training very diligently. So that was a naughty princess guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a magical time.